For more videos, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. All right, guys, uh, now we're going to do this problem where they want you to find the resultant force and specify where it acts on the beam measured from A. Now we have a function. We don't have a rectangle nor a triangle. So you might be wondering, how do you find this force and where it acts? Well, this is simple, very simple. Whenever you want to find the, the force on a distributed load given by a function, Remember, what, what we've really been doing with the triangles and the rectangles is finding the area. So if you're given this rectangle of distributed loading and you got x newtons per meter or pounds per foot, whatever, and you got this distance in meters, then all you've really been doing to find the force is set it equal to x newtons per meter times, let's call it the distance in meters distance in meters. So all you've really been finding is the area. Same thing with the triangles. With the triangle you've been finding the area. You've been multiplying the length by the length of the of the height and dividing it by 2 which is the area of a triangle. How do you find the area under a curve? Well you do the integral. This one's given by w so the integral of w with respect to x from 0 to 4 because they're telling you this distance so from 0 to 4 and that's going to be equal to the force so the integral from 0 to 4 of 2.5 x cubed dx is equal to the force now the integral is equal to 2.5 x to the 4 over 4 from 0 to 4. If you don't remember how to integrate or you need a quick review, go check my calculus section on my site. I'll try to make a quick 5 to 10 minute video that will get you up to speed on the kind of integrals that you need for this section so you don't have to waste a lot of time going through books. So remember, just go for the sake of education.com and go to the calculus section and look on quick reviews. Now, when you plug in 4 for x and 0 for x, you're going to get that this is equal to 160 minus 0, which is equal to 160 newtons for the force. Now you want to know where along this line acts. It looks more or less like a triangle, so more or less this is the distance. Let's call this distance x bar. So x bar is given by the integral again, another integral x times w dx so it's the same just multiply by x over the integral of w dx from 0 to 4 again now the bottom we already found this we already found so this is really equal to the integral of x w dx from 0 to 4 but the bottom we just found to be 160 we already found it up here, so that's half the work already. Now, x times w, which is 2x cubed, is equal to 2.5x to the 4, so the integral from 0 to 4 of, all I did is multiply the x times the w over 160. So this integral comes out to be 2.5x to the 5 over over 160 and this is from 0 to 4 and when you plug in 4 for x right here you elevate it to the 5 you multiply by 2.5 you divide it by 5 and you divide that whole thing by 160 you're gonna get that this is equal to 3.2 and this is in meters which means that the equivalent resultant force is uh, 160 newtons there's only one force so that's the resultant force and it acts along x bar and x bar is equal to 3.2 meters final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and i'll be happy to help thank you